Hello, this is part two of the jQuery mobile with MVC. Uh, so in this video, we're going to continue using the same uh, sample website. And as you can see on this, on the first video, we did the mobile index. On this one, I did an Acura. I think I did an Acura uh, view uh, right here. And it has some JavaScript or jQuery. And the next thing I did, I have a Acura post. Uh, with this uh, attribute on this on the controller and we're gonna expect it an ID and return a JSON so we're gonna go back to where we left off we left off at this uh, page we're gonna go back to the site to this site so by default the code that we did or we copy and paste it from jQuery website it has even filters but on this one I all of these don't do anything on this ones but let's say now you want to go to Acura if you click on it it takes you as you can see here I added the ref it's ref which is home Acura so controller and then the action which is this one this view and it took me right where I was expecting to land. So here I have uh, kind of one is a, a tip because as you can see here uh, on the Acura view, there's some uh, JavaScript, there's a block here for JavaScript. So it's supposed to, once you do click on the first button, you're su supposed to get models and just, it's just gonna say hello and on the second it will be an Ajax call but we'll start for the first one now if I click on it you see the alert come up so this is how it's supposed to work now but if, let's say if you want to troubleshoot uh, JavaScript on this page we'll see the source and as you can see here I don't see any JavaScript this all this HTML is from the layout page. There's no, there's no. You see this block in the Acura view. You don't see it, right? So you won't be able to debug this JavaScript on the Acura view. So why did that happen? Well, let's go back to the index and according to the site help files you have to type rel equals external so according to the docs that tells the uh, framework that we, we're looking at an external source and it should load whatever that external source has for us so if we go here still works now we're going to view the source and as you can see now we got the um, JavaScript block here now we can see what it's executing on our page so just keep in mind that you need to have if you don't see the JavaScript or your HTML markup you need to add this rel equals external Got it? So you will see your JavaScript here. Okay, now the next thing to show you is this Ajax call. So instead of refreshing the whole page, you, you can just submit something and then get something back from the from your server. So we go to the code. Acura. We have, got, we have a global variable, D. Just have a year there and here our basic ajax call is the url which is home controller and acura post which is this one acura post with this attribute and we're expecting an id 
So that's what we're passing on in the data ID and the value is 2013. And here's just getting whatever the controller is going to send us back and we're just going to alert it back to the user. At least we know that it's working if we do that. So let's try this one. Kill this one. 2013. So as you can see, uh, the Ajax call works perfectly. And with a few lines, you can just pass data from your client to the controller. Some people might ask how is that done. So as you can see, it's really simple. If you already know this, well, it probably won't help you. But for people that are starting out, this is really helpful to know how you can pass from your view data to your controller. Of course, here we can do some, we can pull some book if we're looking for a book based on the ID and return a JSON formatted. So this is all for this video. And remember, if you want to don't see your HTML JavaScript, just pass uh, REL equals external on your link. Uh, ref or your link uh, HTML markup. So if you have any questions, uh, post a message on Facebook or on Twitter. Thank you for watching.